Dr. Rhonda Patrick here. Today we're going to talk about omega-3. Omega-3 fatty acids, especially those from fish, can reduce your risk of the world's number one killer, cardiovascular disease. While evidence for a beneficial effect of certain omega-3s on the heart has been building for some time, a new study suggests they can reduce your risk of dying from cardiovascular disease. Omega-3 fatty acids are essential fatty acids. There are three key types, ALA, EPA, and DHA. ALA is abundant in chia and flaxseed, and also found in large quantities in walnuts, soybeans, and hemp seeds. EPA and DHA are found in fatty cold water fish like salmon and cod, as well as other seafood and microalgae. Our bodies can convert some of the ALA into EPA and DHA, but it's not a very efficient process. So eating foods that are rich in EPA and DHA or supplementing can help boost your levels. Omega-3s play an important role in many processes in the body. Randomized controlled trials have shown omega-3s from fish oil increase muscle volume and strength, slow telomere shortening, and improve verbal fluency, memory, and visual motor coordination. But for today, I want to focus on the role of omega-3s in heart health. The suggestion that omega-3s might protect the heart came more than 40 years ago when scientists found Greenlandic Inuit had very high blood levels of omega-3s and virtually no heart disease. This has been attributed to their diets, which are rich in fatty fish and seafood, providing a source of EPA and DHA. While the study's claims about heart disease rates in Inuit has since been called into question, it nevertheless inspired decades of research. But since then, studies have been inconsistent in showing the health benefits for omega-3s. This may be partially due to differences in study design, especially when they rely on people self-reporting how much fish they ate. People often misjudge how much or how often they eat a particular food, and the amount of omega-3s in fish can vary quite a bit too. But blood levels can provide a much more accurate measure of how much omega-3s a person actually eats. This 2021 meta-analysis of 17 studies investigated links between omega-3 blood levels and the risk for all causes of premature death. The researchers found people with the highest blood levels of combined EPA and DHA were 10 to 17% less likely to die prematurely and were 9 to 21% less likely to die from cardiovascular disease compared to those with the lowest levels. This might be explained by the role omega-3s play in pathways involved in the production of hormones that regulate blood clotting, manage inflammation, and influence the contraction and relaxation of arteries. When omega-3s are metabolized, their byproducts play a role in managing inflammation. These byproducts are called SPMs, Specialized Pro-Resolving Mediators. These SPMs promote apoptosis, regulate leukocyte activity, and reduce the production of pro-inflammatory molecules. This is important for heart health because inflammation is a key driver in cardiovascular disease. Inflammation increases the production of small, dense lipoprotein particles. These circulate in the blood plasma where they can bind with toxic molecules called lipopolysaccharides. This promotes plaque formation and blockages, hallmarks of atherosclerosis. Omega-3 fatty acids also promote dose-dependent increases in blood SPM levels that persist for up to 24 hours. And a randomized controlled trial with a high dose of 4 grams of EPA and DHA per day found a greater reduction in cardiovascular events than a lower dose. It might be that you need a certain threshold of fatty acids to get the full benefit. And what's more, the overall anti-inflammatory effect of omega-3s may have an even greater impact as we age. One reliable way to measure chronic activation of the immune system and the damage it causes in a quantitative way is to take a look at inflammatory cytokines in blood. A small study showed that older women had a larger reduction in inflammatory immune molecules like IL-6, TNF-alpha, and IL-1-beta than younger women after taking 2.4 grams of omega-3 fatty acids a day for three months. And not by a small amount either. For example, TNF-alpha was reduced by 58% in young women and 70% in older women. Keeping chronic inflammation low as we age may be one of the most important things we can do for our health. Studies like these show one way we can help keep inflammation low is increasing our dietary intake of marine omega-3 fatty acids. 
But when it comes to cardiovascular disease, inflammation isn't the only thing to focus on. High concentrations of some lipids in your blood may also hint at larger issues. One such type of lipid is triglycerides. Triglycerides are the primary component of very low density lipoproteins. Having high triglycerides, levels above 200 milligrams per deciliter, can increase a person's risk of developing cardiovascular disease. But in randomized controlled trials, a high dose of the omega-3 EPA reduced triglycerides by 18%. The downstream effect? A 25% reduction in major cardiovascular events. In short, upping your intake of the marine omega-3 fatty acids may be a good idea for many people. The easiest ways to do this are eating more fatty fish like salmon and cod, or by taking a fish oil, microalgae, or other high-quality supplement containing concentrated omega-3 fatty acids, EPA and DHA. But before starting any new supplement, especially at high doses or ones recommended by YouTube videos, it's always a good idea to talk to your physician, especially if you take blood thinning medications or have a fish or seafood allergy. Scientists continue to reel in more evidence that omega-3 fatty acid supplementation is safe for most people, and higher doses may be beneficial in reducing cardiovascular disease risk. In the future, we'll learn who omega-3s are most important for based on specific risk factors. But until then, it's a good idea to make sure your diet has enough omega-3s, and that's as easy as eating enough fish or taking a supplement. Thanks for listening. I'm Dr. Rhonda Patrick, and I'll catch you next time. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you click the subscribe button so you get notified when we release a new video. Or even better, subscribe to our newsletter at foundmyfitness.com forward slash newsletter.